And just so those who are following along with us at home, if you are on the lightbodymastery.com page, there will be a join now button right next to the video screen. You can click on that and you would see a page which outlines the program. So it outlines the modules. Dr. Ply touched upon them. I'm just going to go over them real uh, quickly. And Dr. Ply, if you have anything to add, please do. Module one is defined as crown chakra breathing, understanding life energy. Is there anything you'd like to add on that? The crown chakra, the nostril breathing <clears throat> is the lung breathing. We don't need to breathe at all. That is a very, very um, uh, animal, animalistic model where we use the prana, the life energy, um, only in the, in the lungs breathing. They, you can completely transform your breathing and go to the parietal lobe, which is the top of the brain. And then your breathing will stop. And at that level, you will have tremendous amount of energy flowing in, understanding flowing in. It is, uh, if you want to know something about uh, this breathing, you know, uh, Paramahamsa Yogananda, he didn't have the whole technique, but at least he went to a level. That's why his body did not decay even after three months of his death. The body was alive because he was taught by Babaji. Babaji transformed his body into life and he's still alive, you know, but uh, Yogananda couldn't get to that level. But then he got, he got into a certain level that he consciously died in Los Angeles by giving a talk and then said, goodbye, and I'm leaving. So that itself, you know, is, it's a process that he used in a Kriya Yoga, but that's not what I'm talking about. This is a yoga, uh, it's a Siddha Yoga, taught by the uh, Tamil Siddhas, wherein you stop at one point, the nostril breathing or the lung breathing, and then take it to the uh, crown chakra breathing or the parietal lobe uh, breathing and at that level you are a superhuman. You know, you will be like, you can go back and forth, you will be like an amphibian, you know, living both worlds until, you know, a new race will come, then we will be totally transformed, that's the model. Wow. Okay. Yeah. The module two is rejuvenating the body and reversing aging. The body is ignorant because it's a dark material energy, okay? The dark matter we have, it's dark matter. We have not understood what the dark matter is about even in, in physics. So it's full of this dark energy. We have to educate the cells to become more alive. So what we are going to do is going to take the life energy again, transform the life energy, and then take it to the cells. The cells will begin to breathe with the, there will be more and more and more life energy. So the cells will be more alive. The DNA will be more alive. It's not functioning to its maximum level. So once they are alive, then they will know their true real identity is not material reality, but the reality as light. So it will give up that identity. That's how the body will start changing. Because it has its own consciousness. It's not only your brain thinks, the genes think too. And then you have very inherited uh, these genes from your father's mother and grandparents, and their thought processes are also simultaneously going in there. So I'm going to teach techniques of how to get rid of all the thought patterns that you have acquired from your father, mother, and great-grandparents. So you are part of them too. 
So biologically, if your father had cancer or diabetes, you are going to have it. So somehow you have to remove that. I have technology to do that. So that will be part of the teachings. That's an, uh, giving light to the body. You know, the, these are all, there is a complete program then that uh, the siddhas have laid out and then the herbs. And I want to introduce at least two herbs that will give you the light body chemistry. I want to call it as the light body chemistry and I'm trying to see how best I can get the uh, herbs in a potent form as much as possible, not, a, not uh, it's, it's almost difficult to uh, follow the model of the Siddhas, but at least we can get 70% strength, 80% strength uh, for, 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 for practical constraints. But those herbs will give you the light body chemistry. So that uh, will be added to uh, enlightening or enlivening the body. Wow, okay. And then we have uh, module three as activating the brain and chakras. Activating the brain is the core of the brain, uh, program not only for guess, getting a light body, but also to live this life, because I'm, I always talk about 200% life. It's just not enough to uh, live one or the other life. Okay, for that, the brain has to be activated. And the brain in, in two senses, which is the physical brain as well as the, the astral brain. The astral brain is connected to all the chakras. The chakras control your body and your consciousness. So there will be an under, you know, we'll teach about the chakras and how they govern certain energy patterns. And also in addition to that, I will uh, talk primarily uh, about two things. One is how the sounds create consciousness, creates matter. It's very critical to understand the sounds. The sounds are ev everything. It's called Shabda Prabhanya in Sanskrit. The whole world is just only a manifestation of the sound. So I, I will uh, talk about how the sounds can activate uh, the brain, both the astral and the physical brain. Um, and how you can change your physical reality also with the sounds. Mm -hmm. um, and then I will talk a lot about the pit. a past time like the gods do. So that will be that program. Thank you. It looked like we were off air, but I think we're back now. We're good? Okay. So we, we did miss a portion of the last section that you discussed, Dr. Pillai? Well, I just briefly mentioned about uh, how to vibrate with a faster time so that you don't uh, have to face the same reality every day. 
And I gave the example of you, you get into a job and till death or uh, retirement you are in the same job and that's not uh, understanding time, the body understanding time or uh, the, my, the brain understanding time. It can be accelerated, that's part of uh, the teaching that will be included in the light body program. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, these are all very fascinating topics. You already touched upon this one, uniting the sex and the crown chakra. Is there anything further you want to say or do you feel you've covered that? About the crown chakra? Uniting the sex and crown chakras. Yeah. Now, there is tremendous amount of life energy that's being wasted. Like look at the sperms or the ovum, that's life energy. So if you have to make the brain stronger, you have to bring a lot of life into the brain. And you have that energy in uh, your creative juices our essences, which is ovum and, uh, and the sperms. And that's life. You carry that life. So the Siddhas have a method to vaporize those uh, essences and then bring it to the brain and empower the brain. And that will help uh, transform your brain, your body, mind, and especially when it unites with the light that already comes from uh, the heaven into the crown chakra. And the merger, as I explained to you, will result in the opening of the third eye and the transformation of death. Thank you. The fifth module is Mastering the Five Elements and the Five Senses. Yes. We know the five elements. The five elements as we understand them are only in their gross physical nature. We don't go to uh, their subtle nature, to their particle structure, and now even we go into even the bosonic levels. But we are only processing uh, the classical physical reality, gross reality. We are not getting into a reality where, which is, which is very subtle, which can give you more freedom. I will give you a very simple example. There is ice cube, there is uh, snow, there is water, there is hydrogen and oxygen atoms. They're all the same, different manifestations. But hydrogen and oxygen can be further divided into particles. And then it can still be further divided. And we can go on and on and, and dividing it to much finer and finer particles. So because the particles only came into existence only after three minutes after the Big Bang. Prior to that, what happened? There were other particles which were very, 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 very minute. We don't even know what they are. So that's how matter originated. Now we are saying that the boson is the real particle uh, that we can get into. It's, that's why we call it called the God particle that gives rise to matter. But the Siddhas went even beyond that. Hey, it's not it. You are still talking about physical matter, even at the particle level. There is anti-particle, now the physics have found it too. Physics has found the anti-particles, anti-proton, anti-neutron, and anti-electron. And that is more important than the physical particle, that belongs to the light body. The gods are all made up of anti-particle, so we can go into, that's going to be the major chunk of the program is understanding 
the five elements and how they uh, interact with the physical body because you know if you have to see there should be light that's one of the elements okay so we have to understand the light and also vision and and also see the transformation of the physical uh, element as well as the element as it is represented in the in the sense organ of vision see ramalingam was totally dedicated to the process he said unless you do this you cannot uh, uh, you cannot get a light body and uh, so that's something that um, uh, will be uh, will be part of the program and i will take one by one the sense of touch the sense of smell the sense of uh, taste the sense of all these are related to the uh, elements and uh, and then to go to the very depth of it and uh, and then uh, give you an understanding by understanding and experiencing this the body will turn into light these are all fascinating topics which i've never ever heard explained the way you're explaining them and i can only imagine the power of this program so the final module is devotion to god the god of light and love yeah devotion is the ultimate practice because the mind can understand only uh, up to a certain point then you have to go to the emotions the emotions are a lot more intelligent than than the mind than the rational thought emotions love super intelligence they are all synonyms if you are in a state of love then you will have the highest intelligence because the duality will disappear that is not unconditional love and at that level you will have access to the divine a lot more easily than through any other practice that's why uh, jesus kept on saying love me love me when somebody asked jesus how can i serve you love the person whom god had sent to you so it looks weird why would jesus want uh, you to love him because love is the ultimate intelligence there is no judgment in it that's unconditional conditional love the emotions have greater intelligence so the path of devotion is a very important one in my own personal experience the people who have benefited from my teaching are those people who were emotionally or devotionally connected to me miracles happen this is the same with everyone uh, in in any relationship devotion is very important that's why it's not god is love it's love is god there's a difference between the two god is love versus love is god love itself is god god meaning super intelligence omniscience omnipotence and omnipresence so that's the ultimate model that i'll be teaching i'll talk about it later also mm -hmm. yes i know you'll be joining us after the short break to uh talk more about devotion and also give a, an empowerment that uh, energy transmission so those are the topics that you had said will be uh touched upon and g gone into deeply into the program so going back to your wanting to be spontaneous and in a moment i understand you'll be delivering the teachings live when i as you're inspired in the divine moment and based on the time energies that support that teaching most is that correct yes the teaching the teaching will be like uh, very spontaneous and then every session will be in uh, will be a transmission session as i said it will be mostly transmission right uh, and maybe 30% 
theory. Mm -hmm. Great. So we, we can expect live, regular meditations with you, live initiations with you. Those will be delivered either webcast or phone calls. Um, what they also will receive in terms of what you will um, provide is a daily practice. So many people want to know what to do, and you're going to be guiding this program for 12 full months to allow people to grow from the very start and the foundational beginnings to developing that personal practice every day, what should be done, taking away all the guesswork, and then to building on that over the next 12 months. So people don't need any other uh, programs or teachings in order, there's no prerequisites in order to join, correct? Yeah. Okay. Great. 